Hey everybody, and welcome to the Threefold Studio Tour, part two, the office edition. This is what we call the blue side. Let's get into it. So this is the blue side, and we call it that because of the blue carpet. On the studio side, we have the green carpet. It's a great distinction for us, the studio and the office, the blue and the green side. And this side, the office side, is where most of the pre-production and the post-production happens. So we have our sound recording area, post-production, we got our editing bay over there. We're gonna save the best for last. But let's show you around in here. So we've been in this space for about two years. We've had the studio for about four and a half. So we kept a lot of the same ideas coming over here. And the desktops are old retired computers from the editing bay. So all of them still have quite a bit of editing power and they're all connected up to the server through the column in the middle of the desk plot. So to divide up the space and break up the space a little bit, we got a, a glass wall here that um, helps give the, the room some division and we can solve uh, math problems uh, if we need to, you know, using glass and, and marker. That's very popular nowadays. Behind me, the second desk pod and some sweet hats we're thinking about making and, and getting done, some seven panel. They also have uh, little holders on the side for your sunglasses. Um, let us know if you guys would be interested in these. They're, they're real like floppy and they fold up real nice. And so let us know if we should start a merch shop and sell some cool hats. As you saw in the first video, part one, this is what the outside of our office looks like. And you're wondering, why do I have a miniature version of our office? I'm gonna show you right back here and uh, give you an idea. We made a miniature version of our office. Oh, what are these doing here? Uh, excuse me, we'll get rid of. So this is what our office looks like. So we have the studio side, which we showed you in the last video in part one. Took you around, here's the psych wall, the conference room. We have the little kitchenette, storage, bathroom, gear hall. And this is where we're at now. So we started right here at the entrance and now we're sitting right here in this back corner and we're gonna take you around to the conference room and the editing bay and, and the sound recording booth. And then let's show you what this does. There's the front of the building that we love so much. There you go. That's what our office space looks like. The overhead view, so you can kind of place yourself in it with us. All right, so before we get to the conference room, all the desks are sit-stand desks, so people can uh, move up or down, whatever they're feeling uh, at any given time. In the conference room, we've got a little storage room back here, but nothing exciting. In the small conference room, kind of a smaller, more intimate conference room, we can have Skype calls uh, with clients. We can have uh, our internal meetings here and a lot of pre-production internally takes place right here. Have another mobile whiteboard on wheels, of course. We love our uh, wheeled whiteboards. Uh, working on a website, we can draw up storyboards and football plans, whatever we need to. A lot of very important meetings take place right here. I'm not sure what they're all about, but I assure you, they are important. Outside of the conference room, we have a couch for sitting and the most office of office essentials, a water cooler for all your water cooler talk. Right next to the water cooler is our single person phone booth. And who knew it that uh, phone booths are coming back in a big way. Having such an open concept office with desks out in the uh, free range, having a place like this where you can close the door, take a phone call, be on speakerphone with somebody, this is an essential and it gets used all the time. Let's go check out the editing bay. Now, this is the best for last. So our editing bay has two different desks set up. Zach, or how are you? also filming and is that the video that we're filming right now that you're editing there um, it's a secret okay so the editing room the editing bay 
like I said, two desks. We got custom built PCs in here as well. And these are all connected up to the server the same way with uh, 10 gig. And I think it's 10 gig. Caleb or Adam will correct me on screen if it's not. We got our 19% gray walls in here with some vertical lighting, which we did custom. We wanted a really nice soft light in here. This room, the editing bay, the conference room, and the sound booth all have drop ceilings, some black ceiling. We wanted to help with the noise dampening in here. This desktop, this desktop is actually linked up and you can do talk back with the sound recording booth right in here. So we have a glass pane uh, so that the people in there can talk back and forth and be able to communicate with editors and things in here. And this is the sound recording booth. So like I said, we got the window with the direct connection to the editing bay. We got the mic set up. We got all the sound dampening in here. If you wanna see a full video breakdown of this space, check out the description of the video. Adam gives a tour of the sound recording booth. And one of the best features, one of the most important features of this space is a picture of us wearing cowboy hats. Maybe the most important feature, I'd say. That's a great picture. Right outside the sound booth, we got a sweet neon sign with our logo on it. And then not far away, we got a segue for uh, all of our important segue shots that we need. And Caleb just sneaking on by. That about wraps up the studio tour part two, office edition. Caleb has no regard for the audio of this video. Leave a, leave a thumbs up if you want him to take more care in the audio division of this video. Maybe the next video. But before we go, those of you that were interested in what Adam printed, I have a reveal. It's fine, it's fine. It was a mask the whole time. I can't believe we didn't know. He already painted it, it was black, but it's a mask from Skyrim, from Skyrim. If you liked the video, leave us a comment, hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe if you want, or don't, that's cool too. I'll see you in the next one, I'm Keenan.